believe this is a lured bleat. It's got the red pore surface, red stem. Seems a little past its prime. This is edible when well well cooked, but um, this one's a tricky one because it does have some toxic uh, bleats. It has toxic bleaks that uh, are no good for you to eat. And now these right here, this is a uh, red rusula. It's another red rusula. Uh, some people call them crab brittle gill. These ones are edible, and I know that they're not the toxic ones because all you got to do to tell if, uh, if a, a rusula is uh, edible or not, or toxic or not, is um, you just put a little bit in your mouth like this. Hold it in your mouth. Get the flavor. <laughs> Spit it out. If, uh, if you notice a peppery flavor, then it's uh, it's not the good one. The ones with uh, the peppery flavor, they call it the uh, the sickener mushroom. But this one's not peppery at all. And these are gonna come home to the table with me. Wow, guys, check this out. I just found a really stumbled onto a really good find. Um, so what I'm looking at here is a is a patch of shrimp of the woods, which is a choice edible mushroom. Uh, here, take a look at this. You see it's scattered all over the forest floor here. Here we go. Almost certain. Almost certain that this is shrimp of the woods. So we're gonna take a I'm gonna take a bunch of it home, a bunch of the bigger chunks, and uh, what I'll do is um, I'll make sure I uh, research it a little better to make sure I'm 100% uh, before I eat anything because you can't just go eating any kind of mushroom. So uh, I'll get it all tested out and if it turns out to be shrimp of the woods then I'm a pretty lucky man here. Oh, look at this, guys. I found another hen. This one, all the mushrooms are really small on it. This one feels nice and nice and moist everywhere, even on the top. This is, this is going to be perfect. Perfect. Yeah, so this is, this is a perfect, perfect specimen of, uh, of the Mayataki. I'm really happy. Like, uh, I found two so far. Uh, I don't have a very big bag with me, but um, I'm going to carry out as much as I can find, I tell you, because like I said, these, these things are just, they're just fantastic. Very medicinal, and very, 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 very delicious. I'll go ahead and take some of this. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's got a couple spiders living in there, though. And not for long, I got I got to kick them out because this. Wow, look at that! <sighs> Unreal. Smells so good. And even keep the even the stalk, the stem, is really good with the mayataki. Such a beautiful, what a beautiful mushroom. Look at that, guys. Super fresh, super, super fresh. Hmm. If I'm gonna eat uh, shrimp of the woods tonight or if I'm gonna have some of this hen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is another small, small hen just starting to pop up now so i'm gonna come here hmm hmm 
I'll probably come here at end of October and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna harvest that one too. Uh, the more the better with this stuff. It's the best mushroom you're gonna get. Found more shrimp of the woods. Well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pick some pick some of this and we'll take some more of that home too. I keep uh, I picked up a couple more uh, shrimp of the woods. I didn't want to take my bag off, so I'm just kind of carrying these two little ones around with me. And I notice I keep I can't stop smelling them. A lot of these mushrooms are they're definitely aptly named. Um, it has a same kind of um, feeling as shrimp, like that plump, plumpiness to it. And it, I want to say it smells like shrimp, but it has like a uh, really pleasant, has a pleasant light seafood, uh, seafood smell. These uh, shrimp of the woods, there's actually a really, really, really cool story about these uh, mushrooms and, and how they came to be. So, uh, shrimp of the woods, this mushroom, I can't think of the uh, scientific name off by hand, but anyways, this mushroom is, is actually not uh, the mushroom itself. So what this was, this was actually a different mushroom. And what shrimp of the woods is, it's, uh, it's some other type of, basically some other type of mushroom that uh, basically possesses the possesses the body of, of another mushroom species and just completely takes it over and it lives off of the mushroom host that it connects to. So I thought that's that's a pretty cool thing. And I still can't stop smelling them. I'm on my way back to the truck now. So if I walk past those patches again, um, I think I'm gonna actually pick a few more of them uh, just in case I really enjoy them a lot. That way I can I can have more more to like, right? Okay, so that was a that was another another amazing hike. We got some good finds again today. So got some these are two different uh, Mayataki mushrooms from two different two separate trees. One of them I really got to clean up. The other one the other one's good. I just got to get her all just get her washed up a bit. Uh, the one I'm excited for the most today is these things. These guys right here. So right there, this is called shrimp of the woods. And uh, this is what my, my dinner is gonna be tonight. I'm gonna eat these right up. They smell, smell really, really, really good. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one.